Hey guys, it's me Charlie. Today is July 2nd, 2012, and look at my oxalato. <laughs> She's upside down. She is humping the plants. It's that time again. See what she's doing? See the black stuff on the plants? Yes, again, eggs. She does that. She wraps her whole body around everything. And um, she just picks up these little pockets of sperm, which I had no idea were pockets of sperm. If you look right there in the center of the screen, See, that's a pocket of sperm. I didn't even know that. I thought they were something different. She just picks them up and she, well, she picks them up, I guess, with her vent area, her um, cloaca. And she just sucks them up and she gets pregnant. I'm going to turn off the filter. And then she creates her eggs and she gets really fat. And she was stressed recently. Um, there was a problem with the water. And so she wasn't doing so good, so I'm so surprised she ended up getting pregnant. But Mr. over here decided to throw pockets of sperm everywhere. You guys can see his testicles there. See how big they are? But um, he decided to just throw them around. There's some of the gravel on the driftwood. Uh, I don't know where else he puts them. But she sucked them up, and she's now laying eggs. So I decided to look around and I noticed she's got some up here, some eggs. She just laid eggs again everywhere and she just started about an hour ago. So she's got a long way to go, but what I like to do, see she doesn't have big testicles. She just has a little bit of an area that's kind of swollen. So what I like to do is I like to turn off the filter during this time when she's laying eggs. So that way the water's nice and calm. And uh, I don't usually use the light. Now this light you guys can't tell, but it's actually a blue light bulb. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the bulb. See the reflection of the bulb in a way? It's kind of blue. But in the video it looks normal, but it's actually blue. And I usually just turn this off. I'm using my camcorder light. And it's never on. It's only on whenever I turn it on to look. Because I get enough light in here, but it's about oh, 7 o'clock in the afternoon evening and so she's got a little bit of light in here but she just does her thing lays her eggs and the male ignores her so what I'll be doing now is after she's done laying her eggs and um, she's had time it, I give her about 24 hours to do this and after that she's done then what I do is I take both of them out and I collect all the eggs and I put it into a plastic tote with about two inches of water and I use the same water from the fish tank and I let them sit for the next um, nine days and then the little babies start to hatch and you can see the whole process so these guys come back to the fish tank usually the same day after I've harvested everything from the fish tank now if you have a second aquarium already set up you could just transfer them in there and leave the babies in here. The problem is, is you're going to have to reduce the water of this fish tank all the way down to about here. And the reason why is because you want to make sure that the babies can catch the food that you're going to feed them, which is going to be brine shrimp. The problem with that is you've got to take all this stuff out because this isn't the actual pond where everything is being filtered naturally and cleaned up and little babies, you know, some live, some die. You're actually going to be growing a lot of your own and you're going to have tons of little babies and the reason why is because you're going to do the best job you can to feed them so in this kind of a tank setup um i usually just har always harvest the eggs and you guys um probably have seen a video of mine where i do that here's a little sperm oops you guys can't see that right in the center of the screen you guys can't see it but it's right there um I just harvest the eggs. You guys saw a video that I did before. And what I do is I um, put them in a plastic tote, let them sit there for a couple of weeks, you know, about nine days. And then they hatch. And then I don't feed them for the next two to three days. And then I start to, um, within the next two days before they have to eat, I hatch out my brine shrimp. Look at Daddy. He's hungry. That's why he's looking at me. She's hungry too, I think. 
So it's a, a lot of work. And uh, I don't know how many eggs she's produced this time. I have a feeling not as much. She didn't eat as much as she's supposed to. So, But this is my favorite pair. So I wanted to do a shout out for someone. So if you guys click right here, if it's clickable, um, you'll go to a channel. Um, this person has actually been working on their channel and making videos. And they also have oxalotos and I believe they have eggs and the eggs have hatched into little babies. And so um, if you guys have any um, support that you can give, please go and subscribe. Leave nice comments on their channel and give them advice. Give this person advice um, on caring for oxalotos, any nice tips. And um, they may have some questions for you. So um, go ahead and click on that. Uh, little link that I put on the screen. If for any reason the link does not work, I'm going to put it in the description so you guys can look below the video, read the description, and that person's channel will be clickable. It'll go to their channel and it'll pause mine so you don't have to worry about losing your place here on my video. So you can still watch this one and click on that one. Look at this. She's so cute. Her face is a little bit dirty. Widow bit duty. It's dirty, not because it's dirty from being in the tank or anything. That's her natural design. She's probably going to snap at my finger. <laughs> they don't have any teeth. They probably have like these little tiny bristles for teeth. Here's the male. He looks like he's smiling, huh? They always do. He's got like a leopard. Leopard looking see his body and they produce um, the wild type babies and the leucistics her name's Lucy and his name is Desi they had um, other names but um, I forgot the names <laughs> it's in one of my videos so I just decided you know what Lucy and Desi is easy to remember because I love Lucy it was a favorite comedy show I liked She's got red hair. See her gills? And he's tall, dark, and handsome. Alright, so if you guys have any questions about oxalotos and the eggs, or um, I also sell them, and I do ship them in the United States. I do not ship them to New Jersey or California. They're not legal in your states if you're watching this video. But anywhere else in the United States, um, I do. what I'll do is I will send you an email what you'll have to do is you'll have to leave a message in my inbox and so PM me on your face or YouTube send me a message and say hey I'm interested in buying a leucistic one or a wild one and what I do is I have a shipping fee plus the cost of the shipping materials which is very low and I will add that to the price my wild ones for 2012 are $20 plus you have to pay for the shipping and the leucistics are $30 plus you have to pay for the shipping so she would be $37, $27. So if you would like to purchase one, uh, the way I send them is in a professional way, which is used, usually used with um, plastic bags like fish bags. And then they send it within two to three days, priority mail, or even the next day air. Next day mail is very expensive. If you want to pay for that, I'll search and try to figure it out. And that might come to another $30. But if you want to... Um, Go ahead and take a chance on the priority mail, which is two to three days. Usually all my boxes reach the next date in two days. And hopefully the weather's not too hot, so make sure your state isn't really hot in the 90s or past 90s, because that's not a very good day to receive your oxalotl. Um, if for any reason I will be um, putting cold packs or something in there, I may or may not be charging extra. Um, that'll be in the future. I'll decide. I'll let you know if I'm going to be charging extra for that. But... Um, just leave me your email and I will need your email so I can send you a request through PayPal for you to pay for the oxalotl and then the next day I should ship out or I'll ship your oxalotl on a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday and that way you can get it by the latest Wednesday probably because Wednesday to Thursday, Thursday to Friday, you'll receive it on Friday. If I ship out on Thursday, you may it may get shipped out Thursday to Friday, Friday to Saturday. And if it doesn't get to your house by Saturday, it's going to sit in the post office on Sunday. So Thursday would not be a good day for me to ship these guys because it's a live little animal. I'll be shipping it in a plastic bottle. 
and these guys will be in 40% water and 60% air and they will come with a small little plant that they can hang on to and they will be fed the day before very well or if not two days before and um, they'll be nice and fat and that way they'll have enough food to travel but oxalatos are extremely hardy when it comes to not eating for a whole week but these will be babies and they will be between one and a half to two inches long um, some could be around one inch so they'll be super cute they'll already have their legs and their um, little um, They'll, they'll look like the dad and the mom. They'll have their feet and their little arms and their little legs. I won't be able to guarantee you sex, but if you decide to do two of them, I'll try to get you a bigger one and a smaller one and do the best I can on getting you a male and female, but it's not a guarantee. Usually my methods are bigger as, as male. The size of the head is um, bigger on a male. And so I'll do the best I can to get you a male and female. So I can either send you two wilds two lysistics or one of each. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. Please leave nice comments. If you'd like to rate the video, that'd be great. And if you want to subscribe, I have some more videos coming up soon. And don't forget to subscribe to the person who I uh, left you a link to. All right, see you guys in the next video.